Ah, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Sinclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located in Delmont, Pennsylvania. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist and today I'm joined by uh, two very uh, strange colleagues of mine. On my right would be... Uh, my name is Katie. I'm a PA student from Marietta College. And on my left would be... My name is Erica. I'm a PA student from Seton Hill University. And St. Clair is a, is a place where you probably found out by now, Katie, where we treat people and we do not treat diagnoses. Does that be correct, Erica? Correct. Correct. And what we try to help people do, particularly through this broadcast where we can reach many people at once, is to help people to get an idea of actual intervention, actual things, reality things that they can use in their life to begin to change the neural pathways, begin to change their perspective on life, to begin to perhaps develop a, a, a bit of a different outlook. So sometimes when, uh, would we rather, there are many, many, many philosophers that spend thousands of years trying to determine the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. So, on the other hand, what we attempt to do here at Seclair is through mindfulness is to help them experience life, mm -hmm. to help people experience mm -hmm. life. Would you say that would be correct? I would say that's correct. Okay. Could you tell me what, the, what, what, did your, what did your sign say? It said close for repair. And yours? Do not disturb. Actually, so many people, when they come in here, what they commit perhaps with a closed mind or a mind that help could use some repair, right? So, and many also, many people also live their life on wishes and hopes and hope things get better mm -hmm. and wish things, or wait things for things to happen. Mm -hmm. So if you two had a wish, what would it be? Wish she would disappear. Wish she would disappear. <laughs> I did not. I did not. Now what? Now what? After you make that wish, now what? Hmm. I wish for it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the idea here is how can we how can we change that perspective? If if a person can't this if you can't make me disappear, the idea is how can you learn to live with it? Okay. So perhaps some of the ways that you could do is some of the ways that you're grateful for particular situations. Now. Our particular podcast and the things that we do here at Seclair aren't just pie in the sky. They're no, we just don't tell you to do it because we said so or because, well, it works. Uh, what we like to do is pack up everything with empirical evidence and back up everything with scientific fact. So, Katie, I understand you have some information for us. Um, I do. I have here uh, seven scientifically proven benefits of gratitude that will motivate you to give thanks year-round. Uh, this is from Forbes. So they, they found that gratitude opens the door to more relationships. It can improve your physical health. It can improve your psychological health as well. Uh, gratitude enhances empathy and also reduces aggression. And grateful people sleep better. They also found that gratitude can improve your self-esteem and it can increase your mental strength. Wow, that's a lot. It is. Tell me, uh, tell me about you, Erica. Well... A little fact is that researchers found that a simple thank you has been shown to increase employee productivity by 50%. Hmm. Um, some ways we can focus on this would be um, looking at the past, present, and future. So for the past, we can recall positive memories and be thankful for elements of past blessings. For the present, we can take the good fortune and not take it for granted. And for the future, we can maintain a hopeful and optimistic attitude. Absolutely. So you two are in uh, physician assistant school. So how often does a instructor come to you and be grateful for the hard work you've done? All the time if they're watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course not. And everyone, everyone out there in the real world, and that's not the real world, but I certainly think they appreciate that. So the idea is, is how, how often do we get called in? Uh, when, when do we get, usually get called into, let's say, in a boss's office or a sponsor? Or someone says, we need to sit down and talk. Is that generally a good news situation? No, it's no. not. How often does someone come, come to you and tell you how well you're doing? Um. Or how much they appreciate the the, the, the job Not that you're doing for them. Not as often as you would like. Absolutely, absolutely. So, unfortunately, what we're done, we're more appreciative toward gratitude from strangers than we are from loved ones. Let's say when you're at a when you're at a grocery store and somebody allows you to get in line when they have when you only have two items and they have ten and they allow you to step in line. How does that make you feel? Very nice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Does that give you a little bit of gratitude? Mm -hmm. So sometimes what happens is when we walk through life, Katie, we walk through life with a, the lenses in our glasses reverse. Reverse the lenses. Turn, turn your glasses around. Look at them through the other way. Like this? Yes. How is it? 
not as great as the other way. <laughs> right, right. So quite often when we have a negative when we have a negative view of life where we think about what wrong is going to happen, what that can do is distort our view of reality, correct? Mm -hmm. So what happens is when we find when we find a happy medium when we find that middle path. Okay, and keep in mind when the Buddha talks about the middle path, he's not talking about something that's dissected right down the middle. He's talking about finding your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what we're doing, we're, we're talking about changing our perspective and our view of reality. So what happens is, is that gratitude can balance out the negativity in our lives. Can it not? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So gratitude can also be a personality trait. Can it not? Mm -hmm. Some people are just naturally grateful. So what we are, we operate on gratitude as a mood and we operate on gratitude as an emotion. So what did we, what did we do this morning when we all got together? We got together in a circle and held hands and each of us expressed what we're grateful for today. And we also... Um, mentioned a person who we are not so grateful for and we wished them well and it was a good way to look at it from both perspectives so how do gener how do most people generally start today before let's say normally before you got to Seclair when you would open before you would even open your eyes in the morning what would be on your what would be on your plate what would be going through your mind I wish my alarm wasn't going off. <laughs> mm -hmm. And perhaps thinking of everything that you had to do that day. Mm -hmm. And perhaps thinking of how, maybe how things were going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet somebody, Katie, that as things go on and things are going progressively right, right, they get a little bit apprehensive because they're waiting for something to go wrong? Mm hmm is that true? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what we did this morning was perhaps a way that every individual here could start off their day. If you have a partner or a loved one, uh, to sit and hold a, hold a person's hand because because human contact is, is so important. Okay, You sit and hold a person's hand and say, and, and say what are we grateful for today? Mm -hmm. And you would list what you're grateful for, maybe your partner or whoever, a friend, would list what they're grateful for. Would you rather start your day that way or a day by saying everything that I have to do or what can go wrong? I think starting your day out being grateful is setting yourself up for success for the rest of the day. Absolutely. And could you name some of those benefits of gratitude again, please, Katie? Um, opening the door to more relationships, improving both physical and psychological health, enhancing empathy, reducing aggression, um, grateful people sleep better, and improving self-esteem and increasing mental strength. Absolutely. Could you give a few more of those uh, statistics again, Katie? Erica? Sure. Um, the one that we talked about... You're grateful that I didn't remember your name? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, that a simple thank you has been shown to increase employee productivity by 50%. And ways we can do this are by maybe creating a gratitude journal, counting your blessings, giving thank you notes, thank someone mentally, hmm. and pray or meditate. Now, how would, uh, how would gratitude be increased 50%? How would, how would the production be increased 50% through gratitude? I just think it creates a more positive attitude, and it reflects on everyone else in the environment. Mm -hmm. so. so if you're doing your job and I come up to you three or four times a day and says, can't you do any, do any faster? Mm -hmm. Could you ever do anything right? Mm -hmm. I'm not very happy with the, with the, with the, with the last pieces of, uh, that I got from you. So what does that make you feel like? Do you want to work harder? No. Mm -hmm. So if I come up to you and say, I know you're working as hard as you can, and I'm grateful that you show up every day and, and then for the job that you're doing. Would you look at your job a little bit differently after that I... Mm -hmm, absolutely. What would you do? I think it would make me want to work even harder. Would it, would it give you a little bit more pride in your work? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely. Absolutely. So what? So when we receive affirmations from other people, not only does it make them happy, it makes it makes us us mm -hmm. feel better too, mm -hmm. right? So in the twelve step world, what we call that is an attitude of gratitude. It's called a change in perspective. So what we're doing here today, when a mind's closed for repair, or we have do not disturb, what we're asking people is to begin to have an open mind, have some honesty, open mindedness, and some willingness to try some of these techniques, some of these these mind-opening interventions that we present here at Seclair. And it's really not rocket science, is it? No. It's not, not uh, it's not nuclear physics, is it? It is not. No, it's, 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 it's a simple matter. And we always seem to overcomplicate things, do we not? Yes. I agree. We're always looking. We're always looking for this this complex way that we can solve a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So actually, we're these are these are these are simple programs for complicated people. 
So what we try to do here at Seclair is try to unwrap the ball of yarn just a little bit and where where we can get down to that strangle strand of yarn, right? Mm -hmm. and, that, and, that, and that is the true you, mm -hmm. is it not? So what would you be grateful for today, Miss Katie? Uh, today I'm grateful for my family. You're grateful for your family? I'm grateful for my family and that I'm able to live at home right now and have a meal cooked for me every day. <laughs> wow. Huh. Where do you live? Uh, <laughs> so how about you, Erica? Today I'm grateful for Jim because it's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Thank you. And I'm grateful that everyone out there has been so kind these last few years listening to these podcasts. And as always, we appreciate comments. We appreciate questions. We appreciate criticisms. We, appro we appreciate everything that we get. And uh, Miss Erica is going to let you know how you can do that. Okay. To continue the conversation, please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter under Seclair Life. You can also find this and other Grand Rounds on YouTube.com slash Seclair Video. And find audio versions on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And please visit www.seclair.com for more about us and other articles on our great blog. And as always, uh, Miss Katie, we write a free prescription, do we not, at the end we of do. every podcast? Do you mm -hmm. remember what that is? Um. <laughs> Fruits, nuts, and vegetables. <laughs> Unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, fish without bait. We fish without bait. A life without definitive expectations. So you two will be leaving us. Yes. And uh, so tell us just a little bit about your time. It's, tell us a little bit about what you were grateful for for your time here. Um, I was grateful to work with the other students and experience a more holistic way. Of treatment instead of just um, the traditional way and we were exposed to a lot such as yoga meditation farming and it was a great experience um, like Erica said I agree with her it's it was a really um, it was a really great experience to get to work with all the other students and see how other schools do things and also learn a new way to approach medicine holistically and even for myself, being able to open my eyes and live each day a little more mindfully. Thank you so much. And your assignment for today is to show some gratitude for some simple kindnesses that people show you every day, where sometimes we're not mindful and aware that maybe that person will allow us in line. Maybe that person will open the door for us. Maybe a person will smile for us. Maybe when, you, maybe when you're up with a cashier, they're, they're nice to you or they speak to you. Uh, my challenge to you is acknowledge that and be grateful and let them know how much you appreciate that smile. You appreciate the personal touch. You appreciate somebody opening that door. You appreciate the smile you appreciate the universe and perhaps participate and experience your life and until then we'll see you again namaste